As President Barack Obama prepares to close down the infamous military prison of Guantanamo, we're bringing you to where it all started, here in the island of Cuba, but in an American military base. It was here that the first detainees captured during the Bush so-called war on terror arrived. You may have remembered the images. Men wearing orange jumpsuits, blindfolded and shackled, were brought here to this improvised prison, a camp called Camp X-Ray. Why was this called Camp X-Ray? Well, the reason is very simple. Since it was an improvised prison, the cells were not separated by real walls, as you can see, and prisoners could see through and even talk to each other. In fact, it was here in Camp X-Ray, seven and a half years ago, where the first hunger strike was organized among the detainees. Seven and a half years later, we can see the passage of time. And we can also see, unfortunately, that there's still hunger strikes going on in Guantanamo. The first allegations of prisoner mistreatment, abuse and even torture surfaced internationally from here, the early stages of this offshore prison that Guantanamo became. Offshore because there was a sense that not being part of the US territory, this place could avoid the US Constitution and even international laws. Seven and a half years have gone by and yet the situation is still the same for many detainees in Guantanamo. They still have not been charged with any crime and they do not know where they're gonna go or what their future will hold. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, Guantanamo Bay, Cuba.